Hello everyone. Now I am going to demonstrate the surgical kit of Simplad and Adherent. Guys, do not get confused. The pioneers of immediate functional loading implantology is the Adherental. Adherental is a parental company and we have the sister companies are there of the Adherental that is the Simplad and the Biomed. Simplad is specifically what's the importance of a Simplad? The Simplad is meant only for those doctors who have at least attended the courses and they know how to place an implant. Simplad means that's a unique concept is there. This science, the immediate function loading implantology is completely different sciences there. Because we people are doing the delayed loading and in delayed loading as you know we people are uh, engaging the rough surface implants and the cancellous bone and there, there is a waiting period is there. But when we talk about the immediate functional loading implantology we have to actually engage the basal bone, the more mesonized bone, the buttresses or we can condense the cancellous bone to make it happen and the result is immediate functional loading implantology. So these guys, these adherental guys, they are the pioneers are there and for India and for Europe specifically they have actually a brand is there that is called the Simpladent. For Russia we have a special brand is there that is called the Biomed and for the Gulf countries. So now for the Simpladent or adherental I am going to open up the kit and I am going to show you how easy and how nicely means so a dentist friendly this kit is there. Guys, I am coming actually from the conventional days and conventional implantology kit was actually I used to have a big kit of the Fryer to a Urutai and all the other or the, or the Ankylos implant system were there. The kit was there, the, big, the different type of the instrumentations were there and it looks so fancy but you know in the end when you become experienced what you want? You want actually the implant placement to be very simple, least traumatic and it should be uh, so um, uh, result oriented in a convenient time to the patient and for that actually you need a simple kit also because we just follow the premium non necre premium non necre means simplify the treatment or least traumatic treatment so i'm going to open actually first of all the there now this confusion is there that is a basal implant or a compression of implant or the basal kit or the compressive kit it is all like that of course when we have atrophic jaws are there or when there is a deficient cancellous bone is there obviously we always go with the BCS implant. Now what is a BCS implant? The BCS implant is a it's a leg screw shaped design is there. We have a the have core body is there and the third diameter is there. The core body is 2 millimeter diameter and the third diameter is around 3.6 and it can go actually to the 12 millimeter diameter also the core diameter the thread diameter so the core diameter and the thread diameters are different any implant that is having a the thread diameter more than 4.5 meter 4.5 meter the body of the implant increases to 2.2 to 2.5 millimeter otherwise if you have a thread diameter till 3.6 meter diameter you have a core body of 2 millimeter is there what is the difference between 2 millimeter of titanium body core diameter or actually 2.2 or greater this 2 millimeter diameter of the titanium implant is it, it's basically a titanium grade 5 implant is there you cannot bend it with your hand but it has a isolasticity is there and you can bend this implant to make the abutment in your prosthetically desired position and this implant gets by through and through like from the third is going to get bended this implant because it basically a means a sim single piece implant logic how actually the implant logic started actually in our world it was started with the single piece implants but later on because the after the placement of the implant they couldn't able to bring it to the desired prosthetic position that's why we have the conventional two piece implants have started because we had a separate abutment was there a different varying degree but now if you have a system if you have an implant where it's engaging the more mineralized bone in a atrophic jaws like the basal or the buttresses and you can bend the implant the abutment to make it in desired prosthetic position what else you need so now this implant but if you are going to have a more than 2.2 meter diameter then the implant the bending is not that easy as it goes actually with the 3.6 meter diameter implant and body of the implant is 2 millimeter but how we are going to place this implant so let's open the surgical kit so that's a nice simple kit is there as you see 
we have a Dental is also there. Why we are keeping both the thing? Because Vida Dental is a parental company, and Simpler Dent is like a part of a of Vida Dental. But especially Simpler Dent, we have in India and in, and in Europe because we target only. We are going to allow to sell to only those doctors who have done the course means they know how to place the implants. So now we open the kit. So first of all, I am going to open the kit for the BCS implant. small compact the drill is there autoclavel pouch is there the autoclavel uh, this uh, the box is there that's a lock is there you just now open this is a bcs implant kit is there now in a bcs implant kit this is a bcs implant we had the pathfinder is there with the dedicated markings what is a pathfinder the pathfinder is it's creating a path nothing else nothing more it's just creating a path mm. that's called a pathfinder 14 17 20 23 the marks are there okay mm. this is a pathfinder is there to create a path then we have a 2 mm twist drill is there this is a 20 this is this is a 21 mm 2 mm twist drill is there you can see markings are there first marking is 14 and second is 17 14 17 okay and the last is 20 but we have a longer drill is there why of course actually when we are dealing with the we want to engage the cortical bone in the maxilla we need a uh, longer drills are there so again there's a two meter diameter of the of the drill is there that's having a 14 marking 17 20 23 26 29 i repeat i repeat first markings is 14 then 17, then 20, then 23, then 26, then 29. Okay. Now these drills, the two meter diameter of the drills, they are coinciding with the core diameter, the body of the diameter of the implant. But if you are going to use the diameter of the implant more than 3.6 meter diameter, like the thread diameter can be 4.5 to can go actually to 12 millimeter, then the body of the implant, the core body of the implant is 2.2 millimeter actually. Okay, or 2.5 meter. So we had, we have actually another drill is there that is called 2.5 meter diameter of the drill is there. That's all. We have a pathfinder, 2 meter twist drill, and we have a 2.5 meter diameter. The drill is there. Now this 2.5 meter diameter drill is again is of 20 mm length. The markings are 14, 17, and 20. What what is the use of this drill? When you are placing an implant in an extraction socket, what happens when you are placing an implant? The implant gets slip away. So you need to widen the osteotomy. This is a real practical drill to widen the osteotomy. But of course, when you become actually, you have experience of more than let's say 50 to 100 implants, you can negotiate actually these all the the, the challenges, the, the preliminary challenges that you face. But otherwise, you can use a 2.5 meter diameter to widen the osteotomy, not to the pecs, not to the, to the buttresses or to the cortical bone where you want to engage these threads of the implant, but just to widen the opening so that the easily insertion of the implant can take place. This implant is come actually with a with a holder also, so you don't have to touch the implant with your fingers and all the thing. But this is a smooth surface implant is there, so you can actually clean it later later on and you can autoclave. But autoclave has to be there should not be any pressure uh, pressure cooker autoclave should not be there. You have to have at least class B autoclave should be there. So now we have. The ratchet is there. This is a simple ratchet is there. This is just simple ratchet is there. And we have adapters are also there. Now this adapter, they have a two type of adapters are there. This for the small head, this for the big head. Now what does it mean of small head and big head? The small head means there is a small head abutment or small head implant is also there actually. Okay, I'm going to show you. I'm just going to show you in the last of the, in the video the small head abutment of the implant okay so let me have find out actually if we have the small head abutment. okay i will just uh, i will just get the as i was mentioning about the as i was mentioning about the small head you know this itk this it2 bcs itk means for small head it2 bcs is for big head now this implant bcs implant it goes with the cos implant also the qc implant also they come actually with a small head 
and they come with the big head small head and big head now what is the difference is there if you are going to place an implant between let's say in the anterior or the lower anterior or upper lateral incisor you need the abutment to be smaller actually okay for the emergence profile so that is a small head abutment is there and otherwise you can use a big head abutment now what is the what is the advantage of a big head abutment in big head abutment after placing the implant if a technician want to cut actually a part of the abutment but first of all i am telling you 5 mm from the cervical margin neither the operator the dentist the surgeon or the technician are not to allowed to cut any of the part of the abutment because it's as if we are using a cement retained restoration it has to be at least 5 mm of the a material about material should be there the abutment material should be there to have the cement and encourage the cement retention so now actually this is a small head abutment is there the small head abutment it goes actually like that with the itk but with the big head abutment you have it to bcs is there and it goes like that get lock inside just like that okay now there are the there are the, the if you are going to place an implant if you are placing an implant where the limited mouth opening is there or in the posterior region so do you have actually a two uh the adductors are also there that are there are smaller in length is there actually the smaller in height is there so this you can use it this is for actually you can go like this thing and for the big head you can go like this thing now how it get transferred that is the our ratchet is there this ratchet this in and this out it goes like that and now you can use it that is the same actually for this thing for big head okay this how actually it gets loose it get tightened but after every use you have to open it and you have to clean it now as we were talking about this the the single piece implant it is a cement and it's a cement retained restorations are there we need actually a special drill is also there we have actually the long drill also there this is a bcd1 drill this is a bcd1 drill and this is a long bcd1 drill is there you are going to find it advantageous when maybe you are using in a tarigoid region or actually when the um, when the alveolar height is too much so you can just use the drill that you to anchor the second cortical okay so these are the two drills are there this are this one more this is these are sold out separately okay but routinely you have a bcd1 2 meter to drill or both the lengths you are going to have it and you're going to have the adapters of placement aid hmm. now as we talk about it's like a this is now what is the uni uniqueness of the system as you all talk about the single piece implants the cement retained restoration is there so if you are on to change the process you have to cut down the metal framework but if you want to have a retrievability option so we have a multi tube implant is also there and this uh, multi tube implant is there this is our bcs multi tube implant is there this is a bcs multi tube implant is there we are have, having a 15 degree pre angulated abutment is there single piece means abutment and the implant is the same actually okay hmm. we are going to show you the t base also and we are going to show you actually the the burnouts or the the pickup uh, the burnouts actually what we are using hmm. now this is this is the our placement aid is there for the bcs implant mu for the retrievability option so as you see it just fix like that it get fit like that and then you can with the hex driver this is a 1.2 meter hex driver is there you can just tighten with the hex driver like this thing you can just tighten it with the hex driver i am just taking out okay so the hex driver is there so just have to have just buying actually you just having a two this two piece of him of instruments there's a multi tube actually adapter is there hex driver is there suddenly this get kit get changed and you are going to use it actually for the multi tube implants also okay the multi tube implants the t base and everything is there we are going to show you later on okay now this is this all the kit was there for the smooth surface implant body but if you want to use when you have a good amount of alveolar bone is present so we have actually koc implants are present so i am going to show you the koc implant kit so what what does you need extra for the koc implant 
the pathfinder is the same the two meter twist drill is the same but you have to buy only this three actually drills these are the dos one drills are there with the markings are there here the markings start from 8 mm 8 10 12 and 15 here the markings are there again here the markings are there actually okay again the markings are there okay so now uh, i am going to tell you discussing about actually the dos one drill for the qos implants qoc implant that is the compression screws are there what are the compression screws i am going to tell you i am going to show you these are the compression implants are there the compression screws the qoc implants are there okay there has a polished threads are there cervical threads are there and the rough surface the endosseous length is there what is the importance of it the pitch of the implant the pitch of the implant is very very implant the pitch of the implant has to be between one but at least 1.5 meter of the pitch of the implant has to be there actually okay if the pitch pitch of the implant is less like other companies are coming they have a very means the pitch of the implant is very less too much of too many threads are there so i don't think so actually it's going to be helpful for them they are not compressing the bone means do come after the compressing you have to condense the bone also between the threads but there are only compressions happening the condensation of the bone between the threads are not happening so there's the importance of the pitch of the plant this is actually how the pioneers are digging up lots of research has been done you know so now you have actually the dos drill is there you are first marking is 8 mm then 10 mm then 15 then 17 there's a dos one that's a dos two drill is there that is actually this is this is a pathfinder now with the dos 2 drill you can just use implant for 3.7 meter diameter implant actually till and it all depends actually upon the upon the how you are going to get the cancerous bone it is not like that always you are going to get the cancerous bone the condensed cancerous bone you are going to get it like between the intermantle from and region is a highly condensed cancerous bone is there but if you go to the maxilla or the posture of the mandible you have the kid the alveolar bone what is available it's uh, it's like a the trabecular pattern is very very loose and very less trabecular pattern is there loose trabecular pattern is there so you're going to have actually the bone is literally you can say very very low mineralized so now we if you are, you can use a 3.7 meter 3.7 meter koc implant actually with this dos one also or otherwise in a normal alveolar bone you can say like d2 or d3 bone whatever you say otherwise d4 bone you are going to have yes you can use start d1 this thing the dos one drill and you can split place the implant the qc implant but if you go with the d2 or d3 bone then you are going to use actually the widened ostomy so that is the dos 2 drill is there now here the marking start for 8 mm 6 mm 8 mm 10 mm 12 mm 15 mm and 17 mm now you, if you are going to use the qc implant why is that in 4.5 meter diameter implant so you has actually you have 8 mm, 10 mm, 15 mm and 17 mm. The markings are there. As you can see, these are the markings are there. Okay. You can just correlate actually with your marking with the path finder, the BCD1 also. Okay. This is a BCD1. Here also the markings start from, it start actually from the, from, from 12 mm, then 14 mm, then 15, then, uh, then 17 and then 20 is how it goes actually. Now, it's 12, 14, 17, and a 20. Okay, mm -hmm. that's how the markings go here. Why the markings are different actually? Along with uh, when you when you are going to match it with the two meter uh, this section the twist drill because this pathfinder drill this pathfinder it can be used with the QC implant also it can be used actually with the BCS implant. How you are going to manage actually the how you are going to pick up actually the length of the implant of BCS? The length of the implant BCS is the perforation of the second cortical, means the engagement of the second cortical. But with the QOC implant, it just follows the normal conventional implantology protocol. You can predetermine the length and you predetermine actually with the width and you can place the implant. But here you cannot predetermine the length. The second cortical perforation is actually the length is there. So that's why the pathfinder just act like a to create a path for this BCS implant. But of course, how you're going to manage the length, how you're going to know the length, the known the length will be known only by the second cortical perforation where you're going to wherever actually the markings or perforation will be there, you're going to pick up the same length of the implant. Now here actually we go. If you have a QC implant is there, predetermined length will be there, predetermined height will be there. 
and that you are going to use actually the length whatever the length is needed to place an implant on that particular site so here i completed but the more other important thing is the the, the adapters are the same the placement it is the same it is the same actually like a big head and for the small head small head is itk big head is it2 bcs and the same thing goes actually with if you are placing a posterior implant and the the, the interferences are coming actually from the opposite t or actually opposite r's then you can you just use actually the short head or the small head or a small length the, the placement aid the part is that what i showed you the i showed you actually the simple ratchet was there to place a bcs implant but i recommend for the starters they should use the torque control ratchet that's a torque control ratchet is this is a very highly advanced ratchet is there okay so you can fix it actually from 10 newton torque to 70 newton torque okay but there is nothing like 10 newton for us all the implant has at least a minimum of 50 newton torque has to be there if you're talking about a image function loading implantology for the compression screws compression means the rough surface QOC implants are there better to have an insertion torque till 60 newton don't go more than 60 newton in rare case you can go till 70 newton okay but for ideal thing for QOC implant the rough com the the compression screws the rough surface compression we are creating a compression through and through all over the body the 60 newton torque is sufficient but for the bcs implant you can torque it actually to the more than 70 newton also so what is the difference is there the difference is in the bcs implant and in the qoc implant the bcs implant is going to condense the bone only apically the qoc implant is going to condense the bone through and through along with the threads so that's why if you have a insertion torque of 60 newton is fair enough very good enough in this is in this qoc in this bcs implant you can have an insertion torque till more than 70 newton also no problem but you cannot have an insertion torque more than 110 newton either the implant will fracture because it is a it is a inherent the safe mechanism what they have built up actually get great, great five titanium any insertion torque greater than 110 newton the implant will fracture is not going to damage the bone but if you say how much a torque you can give actually to the bone so they say oh no you are going to give an insertion torque more than 60 newton 70 newton you are going to uh, necrose the bone no it's like it's rubbish it's not like that the documentations are there the proof is there the articles are there you can you can condense the bone till 164 to 165 newton so now actually we have explained you everything now this is the the bone taps were there earlier we used to have the bone taps these are these are the kds screws are there the bone taps are there but now we are not actually uh, uh, we are now actually we are not including it in the kit because we find out when difficulty was there the difficulty was sometimes while condensing actually while placing this kds screws they used to get engaged more than 50 newton and then while removing it used to fracture okay this part we used to fracture you know why because the kds these screws were not meant actually to have an insertion torque of more than 35 40 newton but the operators they were so actually habitual of placing a BCS implant with high insertion torque. They used to torque it actually to more than 50 Newton and they used to get locked. So, so if you are doing a proper osteotomy with the KDS screw and you are using a torque, the torque control ratchets keeping it, uh, we don't think so you are going to need actually this, this KDS screw. So this is actually, uh, right now we are not uh, delivering, we are not in, have not included in the kit. But of course actually if the operator needs, we, everything is there in the stock and we are going to deliver it okay so this is i am going to keep it now let's come down to the we have, we told about the mu implant the mu implants the bcs mu implant was there so we have actually the koc mu implants are also there the koc implants are also there but please as i told you the bcs implant after cleaning you can re autoclave it but these are the rough surface implants are there it's, you are not going to uh, reuse it at all you are not going to autoclave it at all so, okay the moment is open actually from the from the from the from the while so it has to be used on the patient okay so these are the the mu implants are there okay so now this is actually when we were using the by hand and you're using actually with the top control ratchet or with the normal ratchet you're placing the implant but that is what i am going to tell you when you're doing immediate functional loading implant or you're placing a carrigoid implants the anterior implants the posterior lingual cortical engagement or the buccal cortical or the base of mandible engagement in the anterior also or uh, upper uh, maxilla and mandible anteriors what you will like you will like the wonderful thing you will like to have a control of the implant placement and how the control of the implant placement comes 
just one more thing sorry actually i just forget we have one more wonderful design is there the two designs are there we have actually this this is this is an awesome implant this is an awesome implant this is a this is called koc plus implant what does it mean a koc plus implant you have a apical but wider apical threads are there wider apical polished threads are there i am emphasizing the word wider apical threads we have a rough surfaces there actually through and through and the polish uh, the the threads are micro threads are available for the crystal ball but we have one more implant is there that is called bcs x implant this is a linear implant is there okay but we have a shorter length also it is through and through all polish implant is there so difference between actually the the koc implant or the other implants and this implant is this is a highly polished implant is there but again is sort of a single piece root form implant why i was emphasizing the word wider as you see in the qc in the bcsx implant there's a apically actually there's a taper threads are there in qc implant plus qc plus you have a wider apical threads are there there's a tapered apical threads the wider apical threads i will tell you the difference if you are placing this implant engaging the second cortical that is the nasal cortical and if you are placing this implant engaging the second cortical this basically primary the anchorage is coming only only from the parietal cortical from the crystal cortical it is just resting on the second cortical the anchorage is not coming because it is taper design is there but if you use a qc plus implant with a wider apical threads are there these wider apical threads are as similar to the bcs implant as we can say you can see these are bcs implant is there bcs implant the apical taper the the apical threads are wider this really create a true bicortical anchorage it's going to condense the cancerous bone uh, having a contact the crystal bone but this thread but this wider apical threads they are going to engage the second cortical true cortical engagement you're going to get at the second cortical engagement only only from the qc plus implant i have seen actually the similar the companies are coming or the similar design got help actually because uh, thanks god you know you cannot copy the exact design so they are just coming out with a taper design they are trying to duplicate this design but they can't actually copy the same so the same taper design is coming and this taper design is just for your for your sake you think actually you are engaged the second cortical but basically the the main anchorage you get actually from the second cortical is actually when the when the wider apical threads are there like with the qc plus implant or actually with the bcs implant Now, but what is the difference actually in this qc plus implant the bcs x implant the qc plus bcs x the qc and the qc implant what are the things are there i will tell you what is all, what is all about all have a neck is there the neck is available the neck is available the neck is available and the neck is available in bcs implant there is no neck is available so if i say i am using a bcs implant 3.6 meter diameter length 20 mm my length start actually from the abutment level junction with this abutment margin till to the apex 20 mm and 3.6 is the diameter of the threads but if i use if i say koc length koc 3.6 meter diameter length 12 mm the diameter of the crystal part the crystal threads actually the, the these threads for the first cortical crystal cortical or the or the crystal bone it is 3.7 meter diameter but the length is 12 mm that's the endosseous length is there it doesn't include the neck length neck length is 2 to 3 meter the neck length is there so please if we say in all the implants other than the bcs implant whatever the length is given is the endosseous length is given so you have to actually manage and calculate the neck length also this is very very important when you are going to place the implant but with the bcs implant there is no neck length is there if a 20 mm is there 20 mm means for the abutment margin actually to the crest now we come down actually how we are so what's the what is that particular tool is there so that we can guide the implant we have a full control of of the placement of the implant will be there and we can guide the implant to wherever actually the engagement we need to desire like the zygomatic implant is like the zygomatic bones there the pterygoids are there and anywhere actually. so that is now i'm going to open the kit this kit is actually it comes with the hand grip this is a hand grip this is here
This I kept one extra delt. That's a zygomatic implant radius there. Why I kept it? I want to show you. So first of all, let me show you my hand grip. A awesome hand grip. Now everybody is starting. See, this system is from Switzerland. The market is. They started telling this made in Switzerland. All the thing. You know why? Because these guys know, the everybody, this computer, I, I am laughing on my computers, these guys knows that the pioneers from Switzerland is actually the simple and Indian only. Rest you want to follow actually our legacy, you have come down to the similar designs and you market like made in Switzerland, made in Switzerland. But the fact is, other than the simple and Indian none of the companies are manufacturing the product in Switzerland. They are basically marketing from Switzerland. They may be actually getting... Uh, manufacturing in Turkey or anywhere or maybe in, in India and in Gujarat or Pune, I, I don't know actually or in Kalyan in, in Mumbai actually I don't know actually or in Bangalore I don't know okay but these are the products are there the simple and we have a dedicated factory is there that manufacture our implants and this is Gomez Wall Switzerland okay so that is a that is a hand grip is there then what is the beauty of this hand grip this hand grip is being prepared by a surgeon by experienced surgeon okay so you can see now we have actually these are the two adapters are there placement aids this for the big head this for the small head the small head the big head the small head so how it goes it's you can go like that you can release the latch now and now your implant is there inside and you have a full control of placement of the implant in the osteotomy. The other thing what I want to tell you about this hand grip is this part. If you are going to rotate it clockwise it will just come out. If you rotate actually the anti-clockwise actually it's not going to come out. So what is happening you will keep it you will keep your thumb like that place the implant and you are going to have the control when you are going to place the implant if you want to have a control you can have a control like that also but some surgeons want to put the actual palm and they want to place the implant like that so that is the beauty of this and of course actually it's a patented so the other the look alike and all those so called actually the companies who, who proclaim themselves as the basal implant companies and all the things are they cannot copy the exact design actually okay you are going to violate the, 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 the patent you know so now this thing is there so this actually goes for the small head and that's for the small head is there you can just use the small head and you can place this implant it can be QC or it can be any implant okay the basis implant but as we talk about the pterygoids that's one more unique thing is there we has a adapter the BCD1 adapter is there that goes inside it this really helps when we tap it we do an osteotomy by tapping it and first cortical perfect when we have a metal sound is there when we have we know actually where the bone is there a proper guidance has been created and then later on with the hand with the, with the hand grip one stone reduction hand grip with straight or contra angle you can use this drill but this adapter this BCD1, BCD1 drill is so helpful to taking the initial guidance when you are placing the, the pterygoid implant so that is the that is the USP of using our system because it is designed by an operator it is designed by an inventor and operator who is himself actually operating daily uh, uh, at least this is the simplest system I have found but what is the thing is there that is a, now this is a zygomatic implant is there for zygomatic implant you are going to have a zygomatic trellis there I am going to show you the zygomatic implant mm. uh, actually we have we have you know the path finder the long path finder was available it is actually you have to order separately but we have a long actually 40 mm 2 meter twister is also available actually okay this also you have to order separately mm. okay for for the surgeons who actually do are engaging actually with a good amount of elbow, elbow height actually but i am a lucky person and i am having all the atrophic cases you need a shorter wheels but okay now this is actually if you want to place a zygomatic implant now that's the zygomatic implant is there again it's a similar it's a leg screw based design is there the board, the core diameter of the body is 2.2 millimeter. The third diameter is 4.5 millimeter, and there is a bending zone is present. So this implant, after engaging the zygomatic bone, you can bend it actually more than 90 degree or more than 90 degree. Okay, that's what you what routinely I am doing it. Okay, huh. 
so if you want to place a zygomatic implant what there's no separate kit is there you just have one drill only one drill will be there that is you have to purchase extra two point this is zygomatic drill is there the length is there actually till 55 mm the length is given it is the length our implants are coming from 35 37.5 40, 42.5, 40, that's what, and 45 means every 2.5 millimeter of difference, you have the length is increasing and it goes from 35 millimeter actually to 55 mm. And those guys who want to really, now the resection cases and we need actually a longer zygomatic implant, if you need it. So we have the special zygomatic implants available actually, those anaplastic uh, surgeons are there actually okay, or those who want to uh, reconstruct extra oral actually uh, the the things or actually you want to place the zygomatic bone in the in you want to place the implants uh, like in the process frontal process of the zygomata zygomatic bone so you have actually uh, we have the available length of the zda implant the zygomatic implant till 70 mm so guys this is all i am going to conclude so what is the best part of the system is the best part of the system is you know what is happening in the other system of the convention implantology the site is there you want to place an implant but you have actually not the limited design of the implant is available it's all and all root form implant is there you are all you are all actually limited to the crystal bone height so what you people are doing you have to build up the site and then you're placing an implant that's i'm not going to discuss actually how effective actually your grafting procedures or grafting results are there in a long-term follow-up but but actually if you are going to use it if the idea of the system, the idea of actually irredental, the idea of simple adenine is that you are not going to build up the site according to the design of the implant. Practically, practically it is like that. However, the site is there. You have to, according to the site, according to the, the bone available at the site or according to the morphology of that site, you are going to pick up the implant according to it. You have a crystal bone height. The height is available. The width is available. You are going to use the QOC implants. The QOC plus implant, the BCSX implant, but or the or if the height is not available actually, or the, the height is limited, or the width of the implant is not there, the width of the implant is not there. So then actually you are going to pick up a BCS implant because always and always you are going to get the width of the implant, the width of the you are always to get actually in the cortical bone. But guys, how you are going to take an impression? We have always along with the implant, you are going to supply it actually the lab and lock. This for the big head, this for the small head. This impression cap, small head. This impression cap is goes actually for the big head. Okay. These have the lockings are there inside. The wings are there actually. These are pickup impression caps are there. And this where we were using the impression caps as the red, these red impression caps. But now there's no internal locking is there. So now we are using actually this impression caps as a burn out section okay so these are burn you are having the this is the impression cap white impression caps are there for the small head you just fix like that and that is the burn out there this is the burn out is there so this system it's not like that you place an implant going to take a direct impression that's not this quackling we are not going to do actually that's what happening earlier you have a that you have a special prosthetic set is there that is supplied along with the implants so thank you guys actually this all we have elaborated and anyone who want to contact you you just contact at your simple and we are going to elaborate more actually the procedure or we can explain you more the thing. Thank you very much.